Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, so I'm Pete from Trust Lab. So you may heard that uh, uh, Trust Lab has become the you know the un unchain reputation protocol for uh, a lot of airdrops like uh, uh, Starnet, Solitia, as Manta as well. So uh, today I will share uh, with you how how to build an AI powered unchain reputation, especially for data driven airdrop scenarios. So our mission is to bring more trust, less friction to uh, Web3 mass adoption. And we're very uh, bullish on the mass adoption of the Web3. Since we uh, you know, have a lot of work on Web2 for mass adoption, and uh, we do a lot of uh, trust work uh, in identity, in uh, credit, like uh, GMA, GMA uh, credit score, something like that. So when we move to Web3, we think that uh, uh, since there are not, not too much trust in the Web3 world, especially for the credit layer and the reputation layer, so we aim to build up the AI-powered reputation layer for Web3. Um, here is a real user when he, you know, interact with the Web3 ecosystem, when, when he interact with uh, some protocols every day in ZK Sync, in, you know, Linear and other blockchains. Uh, she is very uh, curious whether he can get uh, more rewards, even he has a uh, more in engagement with the ecosystem. So how to measure his uh, interaction, how to measure his engagement and value to the ecosystem, which is a very important challenge. So we propose on-chain reputation, we call the media score, to help users to identify um, valuable users who can contribute to the ecosystem. And also we can help users to visualize Web3 journeys when they interact with the ecosystem. And also uh, give more, you know, um, fair rewards to users for the ecosystem. So I will show more use cases later uh, when we work with the, some top blockchains. And uh, the first question is how to evaluate the reputation media score. So uh, as you know that uh, when we evaluate the user in Web2, we always use the FRM models. That means the frequency, recency, and money. And we extend this methodology to the Web3 world by adding two additional dimension. Uh, one is uh, we, call we, we call the identity uh, dimension. Another is the diversity. So identity is very uh, unique for Web3. Uh, when you have some ENS holder, when you, when, when you are you know, the crypto punk, uh, blue cheek NFT holder, actually you have uh, you know, higher score in this dimension. So according to the five dimension, we propose a comprehensive value evaluation method called a media score. So media score is more, uh, you know, focus on the multi-dimension, real-time, and in-depth analysis for users' value and engagement in the blockchain. We develop a reputation wallet called TrustGo, which has uh, more than 2.2 million users. They use the Trust Go wallet every day to query his uh, media score, to know his uh, you know um, progress when he interact with the ZK Sync, and uh, he can very uh, good visualize his uh, progress. So this wallet has been used widely by a lot of users across the different area to explore more protocols and get more rewards. So in, in summary. We think that the uh, on-chain reputation can be applied into the air job, can be applied into the campaign use cases. That means if you have the higher media score, you can get more rewards. So for users, he can gain a uh, deeper understanding about their on-chain activities and the values. And for the apps and the protocols, actually they can uh, allo allocate more resources and incentive to users uh, who can truly contribute to the ecosystem. So you can see that a lot, a lot of people share his uh, media score, like his uh, credit score in the, in the media, social media. And uh, when they have the higher media score, they can get a trading fee discount in Doodle and, uh, and when they bridge and uh, swap in 
uh, Omni PTC and Orbiter can even get the trading fee for free. So that's the use case we, we expand for the uh, media score, not only the airdrop. So as mentioned, uh, we have become the number one on-chain reputation protocol and the best reputation wallet since we have uh, more than 2.2 million users to use our uh, dashboard and, uh, and also the tool. They, they query his uh, media score for, uh, for the probability of the airdrop and the more rewards. And we have uh, support uh, uh, more than eight layer two blockchains to help users to get more, get better understanding about their uh, progress when they interact with the ecosystem. So that is for consumer part. We can help users, help consumers to know his progress, to track his uh, activity when they interact with the ecosystem. We also have, uh, we, we can also use the on-chain reputation for projects, for protocols, to help them to identify valuable users during their airdrops. As you know that the airdrop is a very uh, critical, you know, campaign or a uh, good way for Web3 users to get rewards and uh, to projects to, you know, uh, distribute incentives. But a lot of uh, no, boats as well as symbols come to this, uh, uh, come to this uh, benefit to, you know, to attend the projects, to, to not only uh, occupy the resources of the project, but also they, they will dump their tokens when they do the TJE. So um, the first step is to identify the symbols as well as boats for, for projects. And then when you get the real users, and we will do segmentation according to the media score to help identify the valuable users. So we provide the two API, one is the media score, another is the symbol score for some even the top project to identify valuable users. So. Um, Actually, we have a uh, you know, partnership with the top 10 um, blockchains like uh, Starware, like Solitia, Manta, uh, as the exclusive data provider for their data-driven AI jobs. And we also work with the linear Arbitron the BNB chain, become the top POH, the proof of humanity attestators uh, to help them to identify uh, you know, important users. We also integrate our symbol score into the Gitcom Passport, Galaxy, Binance, Go Plus, and the Polyhydro, which always the top, top, top tier in their you know areas. So I, I will give more use cases one by one. So the first the customer is Solitia. As you know that the Solitia is a you know uh, is a is a modular blockchain as a modular uh, data availability. A provider, and one day ESO their uh, jobs, they even don't have their test net and the main net. So how to do the air job? That's the ESO, uh, you know, also for Trusta. They believe Trusta can give their more uh, valuable users across the multi-chain uh, air jobs. For example, we, you know, select valuable users from the six blockchains, like ESO main net, as you know, uh, Orbitron, uh, Arbitron, Optim Optism, and Cosmos ecosystems, according to our media methodology. So we designed the whole airdrop rules for Solitia to help them to select the valuable users from the multi chains. So we also do symbol detection for Solitia to prevent the symbols and the bots for their airdrops. So as you know that uh, the results is very good and the people are very happy since valuable users get more rewards from Solitia. Another use case is Starnet. Yeah, as you know that uh, on February, Starnet also issued their airdrops. But half a, half a year ago, actually they also have the very big challenge because a lot of users, millions, millions of the users, millions of the wallet addresses, interact with the Starnet uh, mainnet for many months, for many interactions, many transactions, and also a lot of guesses. So how to identify the valuable users and uh, 
which is most uh, contribute to the ecosystem. That is also very challenging issues, and especially for some symbols. As you know that a lot of hunters, they just, uh, you know, um, using the script to generate thousands of the wallet addresses to do the interactions, to get the rewards from the, uh, they want to get the rewards from the standard. So the first step is to filter out the symbols and then to design, uh, uh, you know, uh, reasonable rules according to the data analysis for their inclusive air jobs. So they did that. Even they have a lot of people complain their rules and also the symbol detection. We also work with the linear. You know, linear has a, a very um, typical air job for we call the POW, POW and the point systems. So uh, in, in last year, at the, at the end of last year, they have the uh, linear DeFi watch. Uh, and uh, in, in the past months, it is the linear park. So when you get, when you complete a lot of a request as well as task, you have to pass the POH, the proof of humanity, to prove you are real human and you can get the XP and the points from linear. So we are one of the attestation providers among the eight attestator and we are the top one in that case. And more than 1.7 million Trust of POH attestations has been on chain verified for linear for users. So, which is the top one in this area? In this way, I think that the people has their control about their identity, about their attestation, and for project and the protocols, they can access the attestation on chain permissionlessly. So, that is also the sprint of the Web3. I believe that that will be the new model for airdrops. And for Manta, we, we gave not only the, their new paradigm airdrop, but, but also they are the, you know, airdrop for not only the user who attended their, you know, the uh, all, all the side uh, campaigns over the uh, Galaxy Quest. We also gave the high valuable user, even they didn't attend the list of campaigns. So uh, Trust Media Score has been used by Manta for their air job. And uh, they can also, we, we also provide the uh, high value users from the other chain, like ZK Sync, Linear, to filter out the high value users to give the initial reward for Manta new paradigm uh, campaigns, which is very uh, useful for them. Okay, as you know that the Gatecom Passport is also the very, uh, <coughs> very uh, top tier DID protocol. They also prove the user according to the uh, different method. And we also provide a non-symbol stamp for Gitcom Passport. You can just uh, query your symbol score uh, and uh, you click and uh, if you are a real user, you can get a stamp. And, the, and your passport score will added. Yeah, so Different from the WordCon, since POH method, they use the iris biometrics to, to prove you are a real person and you are the, you, you are the un, unique, unique person, you are the unique human. But we use the different method because we think that the privacy is the main issue for Web3, Web3 users. They don't want to do the KYC, they don't want to get the, uh, you know, biometrics data uh, to the projects, to others. So, we only use the purely on-chain analysis to detect whether the wallet address is the real user or not. So that will apply a lot of uh, machine learning, AI, graph learning method methodology to, to detect the very typical patterns of the symbol as well as which is very dynamic and uh, very, uh, need a very good precision. And we have applied this technology into the into the uh, fintech, uh, you know, transactions for many years. So we just apply this technology also into the uh, on-chain data, so which is very uh, good and effective. And we also use the, you know, um, bottom-up scoring for media indicator for on-chain reputation evaluations. So from the graph, you can see uh, only from the analysis of the user behavior, we can detect the symbol very efficiently using some, you know, clustering method as well as the 
graph many method. Okay, so that's the you know experience we have in the past one year, and we work for a lot of top project for the AI jobs using our uh, on-chain reputation, and we will explore more use cases in future. Thank you.